It's so nice to see you all at church today. And I've got a little helper up here. Adelaide, do you want to stand up here just so you can see this amazing picture? <laughs> and I need you all to tell me, what do you think this guy does as a job? Yeah? He looks after sheep. He's a shepherd, isn't he? And what do you think shepherds do for their sheep? Yeah. They keep them in their paddock. Yep, they do. They care for them, don't they? Yeah, Alex? They do. They feed them, lead them to water. Yeah. They do. They do keep them from predators, from what do you think, foxes and wolves? Yep, they look after them. So they love their sheep too, don't they? They look after them, they protect them. Got another little helper here. And what do you think the sheep do? Yeah? Um, That's right, they follow the shepherd. So, and do you know in the passage that we're doing today, we're going to look at what the word says in 1 Peter 5, 1 to 7, and it talks about how we also have a chief shepherd. So God has given us the chief shepherd, and do you know who the chief shepherd might be? Jesus. Jesus, that's right. So Jesus is our chief shepherd. And under Jesus, we also have been given shepherds and elders within our church, within our church family, to look after us, the mob or the flock. And do you guys know that under Jesus, these shepherds are accountable to God and their job is to make sure that the sheep thrive and survive? So do you know who within our church family might be our shepherds and elders? Else? Yeah, the minister, that's right. So who do we have? Yep. Bernard. Dan, that's right. And guess who else? Mr. Bailey in training. <laughs> so we have these shepherds and elders to look after that, uh, to look after us. And they do their job under Jesus and feed us the truth of the good news of Jesus. And they do this because they're willing, because they love us. They don't do it for money or power. They do it because they are ex an example to us of Jesus. And also they do it because they want to serve us. Now, what are some ways we could help our elders or shepherds do their job? Can you guys think of some ways that we might be able to help? Yeah? Else again? Yeah, that's right. We can help them do their job well in those things. But also the passage says to us that we need to submit and be humble. And so what that really means is just like these sheep follow their shepherd, we can also follow our shepherd's lead. We can follow what they teach us and we can also encourage them to do their job. So ways that we can do that, we might have to have a chat with mum and dad over lunch today or throughout the day and we can think of as a family how, how might we encourage our sheep and shepherd our shepherd and our elders, how they can do their job well. Would that be a good idea? Cool. All right, let's pray, and then we'll hear more about this verse later on. Heavenly Father, thank you for Jesus, the chief shepherd, and Lord, help us to follow Jesus in all that we do. Thank you for the shepherds that you've given to us in this church family, and we pray that they would be encouraged today. Amen. <laughs> 